I've learned from watching and listening, as my grandfather said once playing poker, watch and learn. Right. And a lot of the time I listen. I don't wear an iPod, I don't have a cell phone, I don't even have a telephone right now. I've disconnected myself from the world. I jokingly say I live in a cave. And why have you chosen to do that? Because the computer can be the new television. There's right. too much technology. I'd rather read a book or look at a painting right. and absorb. Um, not everything is answered by a pill or a machine. And how long have you lived in Hamilton? Oh, you want in human years or vampire years? Vampire years. Since the beginning. Yeah? So you consider yourself a vampire? I can go out in daylight. <laughs> so how do you manage that trick if you're a vampire? Well, I've switched from, in Hamilton, I switched from blood to coffee, because it's Java junkies doing the Java jive. It's like the 1930s in a soup kitchen. People line up 50 feet long just to get a Tim Hortons cup of coffee. It's a Hamilton phenomena. Right. So you'd rather they lined up 50 deep for blood? No, no, <laughs> no, no. Don't try to catch me there. <laughs> no, I, I won Dracula lookalike of North America at one time. Yeah? When I, was that? That was uh, 1980. Wow. And I run, won a trip to New Orleans with a stay in the Royal Sinesta Hotel on Bourbon Street. But I gave the trip to my uh, parents. Vampires have parents, too. I had, <laughs> and they were going to give me the key to the city in Transylvania, Louisiana. <laughs> so how did you uh, enter that contest? What made you do that? I saw a little... I, I, I seldom read the paper, but I was in a state of consciousness, and I went through the paper and said, There. Because I had a coffin at home. My grandfather worked for the Ingersoll Casket Company. And caskets have to be perfect. So every flawed piece we would take and put together. And when you have a coffin and you're carried in by six, six hooded devil worshippers uh, and have type O positive blood in an old medical bottle, you can even beat the Toronto people. Wow. So you like being a vampire? Oh, it works for me. I like, I like being many things. I mean, I'd love to be Wild Bill Hickok, a gambling man. Hmm. I but wouldn't want to be uh, John Wesley Harden, just a bit too mean. <laughs> cool. Well, I will leave you to your day, but thanks very much for talking to me. You're quite welcome, sir. And you want to tell everybody your name again? Jake G. Willis. Jake G. Willis. Okay, thanks, man. An Irishman with an English last name. Figure that one out.